Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jonathan here and today as requested by my brother Joshua Abe, uh, we are actually going to make the viral KFC Japanese rice cooker meal. <laughs> A little bit of context of the Japanese rice cooker meal is basically they celebrate Christmas somehow with KFC. They eat KFC during Christmas because they don't really have a Christmas tradition like in the US where you know we celebrate the birth of Jesus. But there, since the Christian population is pretty low, they somehow got like you know a notion of KFC is from the Western and Westerners celebrate Christmas and so thus we celebrate Christmas with KFC. So they use KFC for Christmas dinner and then in the morning after the Christmas day um, they have leftovers and they use the leftovers to make this meal. It's a pretty simple meal basically all you need is rice, KFC leftovers, chicken broth and soy sauce. So let's make it! So here I have around three cups of rice because my cousin wants a lot of it and she said two cups is not enough so yeah we have three cups and first we want to wash it as you can see here you're, you're assuming that the rice is actually clean but i'll show you soon so you put water just do that with your hand and then now you can see that the water is murky this is what you want to get rid of. So just put water and then get rid of the murky water like that. Do this actually as much as you want, but two or three times minimum. All right, so after the rice, we want to do the broth. We actually made our own chicken broth instead of using a bouillon or a market stock. We actually made the broth and we just need to strain it right now. It's basically just a lot of vegetables like celery, carrots, um, charred onion and garlic, and then charred chicken um, because charring I think makes the flavor came out more. And so after charring, you mix everything together in one pot, add water and then boil it. And then there you go. You have your chicken broth. And then voila, look at this. That's our chicken broth guys. And I need a ding clip. <laughs> a stool? A stool, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I don't know if I can do it, but we need to strain this thing. Just gonna face it this way. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of broth. Our chicken broth. No. We want to put the chicken broth, some of it, in inside of the rice. That way the rice is not cooked with water but with the chicken broth. So just gonna grab a cup measure. Oh. And then put like around two and a half to three. Almost enough, right? And turn and a half. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna measure it with my finger. <laughs> Imagine my left hand is a right, is, is where the layer of rice is, and then I wanna put my finger here, and then the water or the chicken broth had to reach. My f the first line of my finger right there. So I'm just gonna measure it. It's hot, okay, that's good. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that's about right. So it's around, see? See where it gets wet? Just right around the first line of my um, pointing finger. So that's good. Now, 
we will add the leftover KFC. So this is the leftover KFC that we had two days ago. It's been on the fridge. So we're just gonna put that in here and then put that in there. And since it's about sustainability and not wasting any food, so we add all the crumbs in. Those are the good parts. There you have it, basically it's KFC in. And then you want to add just about a tablespoon of soy sauce. It really depends on how you prefer it. But the thing is like if you add too much soy sauce, then it will be a little bit salty and you cannot remove salt. So I, I'd rather have it just a little bit less. And then after it's cooked, then you can add more later. So this is just one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Just like that. And to the rice cooker. Here we have rice cooker, sojirushi. If you want this kind of rice cooker, which is literally the best rice cooker, I'll link it down below. <laughs> okay, so um, quick cooking and then start. So this process is gonna take like about 20 to 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes, we're gonna see how it goes. So I'll see you back in 30 minutes. The rice cooker rings and that means the rice is ready. Let's see it. Oh, it's like kind of brown. And now I have uh, two forks. I'm just gonna separate them like that. It's very soft. It's it, it actually smells a little bit like KFC. Okay, just separate. I'm trying to... Looks good. Just separate everything like that. Like almost like shredded chicken. So I don't want to damage my rice cooker. And so I'm just gonna use a, a plastic spatula. Ooh, looking good, people. Okay, just mix everything together. Okay, now let's try it. Moment of truth. So I have a small bowl here. I have a small bowl. I'm just gonna take a little bit and try it myself. All right, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. All right, moment of truth, people. Chicken, KFC, rice cooker, rice dish, whatever you call it. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> okay, to be honest, wow. To be honest, I was skeptical in the beginning because like the best way to eat KFC is when it's crispy. But I am proven wrong today. This dish is really simple. It encourages you to have zero waste. You don't waste food at all. And it's super delicious. So please, um, you should totally try it at home. Buy some KFC, use the leftover chicken, make your own broth or buy a broth or use bouillon, whatever you want, you know? Um, just try to make it at home. I think this is super delicious, super simple, super easy. Um, yeah, so I really highly encourage you to do that. If you do, please let me know uh, how it went. And if you had it as well, uh, please let me know whether or not you use like a regular broth or you know, you add something more to it, please do let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.